welcome to my little bookish corner of the internet. My name's Harriet. Today I'm going to be sharing some of the books that I picked up recently. Now I actually did already film this video, but somehow I deleted the footage. I don't know where it's gone. I know I can't get it back. However, I have actually got some new books since I filmed that, so maybe it's a good thing that I lost the footage. I've not got many to show you, but let's just get straight into it. So the first book that I'm going to show you I actually picked up at a book swap. And I went with my partner Callum and he picked up a copy of The Silmarillion which is absolutely gorgeous. It's a hardback edition which he's currently reading. But yeah, you can probably already guess that this is a Tolkien book. So it is Farmer Giles of Ham and The Adventures of Tom Bombadil. Now I don't recognise the first title but I do know The Adventures of Tom Bombadil because I did actually have that on the Kindle for a little while on Kindle Unlimited but I just never felt drawn to pick it up on the Kindle. So now I have a physical edition that is also very cool looking. I figured that I would try this. So everyone always talks about how much they love Tom Bombadil. Personally, kind of annoyed me in the series, I'm not gonna lie. So I will read his actual story and see what it's all about, see what people are talking about and why they love him so much. And it's just a really nice edition. It's got some little illustrations throughout it. And it appears that this was printed in the late 70s, which is pretty cool. Obviously not when it was first published, but that's when this edition was published, which is really cool. The next book that I have, you might have seen on my Instagram if you follow me on there, because I did put it up as a reel quite a while ago. But it is by Ursula Le Guin and I got it at a book swap again. What a good find. So that is Orsinian Tales. I really like this front cover. It's completely different to any other books that I have by this author. Now I do have a book that is quite thick and it is called Orsinia. And I think that's a collection of tales all based around this place called Orsinia that Ursula Le Guin created. It's kind of like a fake country, I believe. I don't really know what goes on there. I don't know if it's science fiction or if it's fantasy or if it's just like realism. I'm really not sure. And I don't know if this is going to have similar stories to what is in that book, but I've actually not read that yet either. So I am glad to have this edition either way. It says on the back, romance, murder, freedom, blood sacrifice, the terrors of tyranny and the insatiable need for human love. These are just some of the eternal themes dealt with in this richly varied collection of stories. Gliding back and forth in time, here is an imaginary country inhabited by imaginary people whose hopes, fears, passions and despairs are brought vividly to life by Ursula Le Guin's brilliant power of perception and sensitivity. So yeah, I think this is going to be something that I really enjoy and I may end up picking this up before the one that I've had for many months that is called Orsinia just because this is so much thinner and I feel like I'll be able to finish it a lot quicker. The next book I also picked up at a book swap, but I know for sure that I'm not showing this anywhere because I literally got it a couple days ago from when I'm filming this. And that is a book by Robin Hobb called The Inheritance, an anthology of tales from the six duchies and beyond. And this is a collaboration between Robin Hobb and Megan Lindholm, which I've actually not ever heard of this author before, but I'd be really interested to start this. And it seems to be a collection of tales that are based in the world of pretty much all of the fancy books that Robin Hobb has written, right? So I'm currently reading the Farsi trilogy and I've got a couple other books by Hobb that are set in the same universe and I think that this is set in it as well. But what a good find. Also, it's got cats on the front, which is just so me. I am so grateful that I found this. It was actually at a place that I wasn't even planning to go to. It was just kind of a little ways away from where we were planning to go and I just thought, oh, I'd quite like to have a look even though I've got way too many books. But I'm glad that I went because I found this. So if you've read this, please let me know, would I be okay to read this just after reading the Farseer trilogy or do I need to read more books to understand it? Just give me a shout down in the comments what I should do. And then the next two books are both from Waterstones. One of them was on sale and the other one definitely was not. So the one that was on sale is actually just because it was damaged. So I got it for $3.99, which I think is pretty good. And that is Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. I think I'm saying that last name right. I read it as Jordan the first time, so at least I reread it. Anyway, this was discounted because the spine is doing this weird thing. It seems to have maybe been printed that way or sent that way. But yeah, $3.99, which I thought was not bad. I have never read this series before. On the back, it says a fantastic blend of myth and modern. I've not even seen the films or anything for this series, but I do know a lot of people do recommend it. And it also says, as a quote, look, I didn't want to be a half blood. I never asked to be the son of a Greek god. I was just a normal kid going to school, playing basketball, skateboarding, the usual, until I accidentally vaporised my maths teacher. Now I spend my time battling monsters and generally trying to stay alive. This sounds great. Sounds like something I'm really going to enjoy. I think it is a children's fantasy series and I've heard so many great things. Lots of people say this is their favourite series ever, so I figured I'd give it a go. And the next book, I've not heard many people say it's their favourite book ever and that's because it is so new. 
but I'm really excited to get to it. I've heard a lot of people say that if you enjoy the Harry Potter series, then you're probably going to like the feels within this book. So that is Scandal and the Unicorn Thief by A.F. Stedman. And this is a signed edition with spray edges, which I just think is beautiful. Oops, my receipt is in there. This wasn't too bad, actually. This was 12 dollars I'm acting like it was super expensive, but it definitely wasn't. And this says, the island is calling. Scandal Smith has only ever wanted to be a unicorn rider. To be one of the lucky few selected to hatch a unicorn, to bond with it for life, to train together and race for glory, to be a hero. So this might have similar vibes to Percy Jackson maybe, I'm not sure, but again I've never read Percy Jackson, so I don't know. But I really liked the front cover and I liked the way that everyone was talking about it and the people in Waterstone said that it's definitely worth picking it up. I mean of course they would, they work there, it's kind of a job. But I am really excited to try this one out. So those are all of the books that I picked up recently. Some of them were free, some of them were cheap, and one of them was not. But do let me know if you've read any of these and which out of all of these you'd recommend reading first. But that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.